So welcome back to our eye ornament drawing tutorial. This looks a little bit like a magic trick what I'm doing here and uh, well actually I prepared that drawing in advance. I'm just filling a background here but what you see here uh, is uh, well, heavily based on the ability of eye ornament to draw with different colors simultaneously at the same time and uh, by that creating a kind of color symmetry repetition pattern here. And uh, the idea of the slot today is to introduce this symmetry color drawing to you. So let me briefly reset everything here so that I can explain the concepts uh, with an empty canvas. So let's erase everything. Let's uh, move our pencil to the ordinary settings and uh, let's turn off the color symmetry mode. So if you usually draw with eye ornament, you draw with one stroke in one color. But as soon as you switch to the symmetry uh, colors, then, uh, well, you see my pen here draws an orange stroke, while at the same time, uh, symmetrically blue strokes emerge as well. So you're drawing simultaneously in orange and in blue. And uh, similarly, there's also a three color version here. So you see my pen still draws in orange mode and uh, simultaneously you see a green and uh, purple uh, color emerging here. Uh, so one thing I, I very often do with uh, symmetric colors is just to scribble around and you see, uh, well, as soon as I do that, uh, the colors start to compete uh, for the space on the screen and uh, you at some point will reach uh, a point where there is no color left. So whenever I move with my pen now to the green area, at the same time, you will see bumps coming from the other side uh, with the other colors. Uh, so let me just erase this again here. And you see, you now have a pattern of uh, three colors symmetrically arranged in your drawing and uh, one thing that I, I very often do here is to take a black color as well and uh, to just add one more stroke and perhaps add a little shading here which makes this even feel a little bit 3D like and like a weaving pattern of uh, different colors on my screen. Um, I want to show you a few more uh, tricks and relevant things here. So as soon as you select a certain color here, you see uh, you get a, a signal of all the colors that are uh, active in that moment. So when you have uh, this three color selecting, you say, see, you simultaneously draw in red, green, and blue. If you want to make the pen uh, no longer the red color, but you want to have the green color here, you can simply tap that button uh, several times and it will always show the color uh, that is used for drawing. So if you uh, switch to green, then the pen uh, will actually draw the green stroke and not the red stroke. You might wonder whether you can uh, control the colors that you have here and you actually can and you can uh, do that in a very, uh, well, I would say more advanced way than you could do in the classical eye ornament. So let us fetch this color palette here. Uh, and look at our first color. Here you see the choice of red, green, and blue that is currently taken, uh, but you can freely edit all three colors here. So uh, let's take the red and move it, and you see the other colors change accordingly. So red is the main color here at that moment, but if you go to the secondary colors, you can move them to any spot 
that you want to have and so for instance i take a kind of weird color choice here uh, i make now a mix of a light red a yellow and some kind of greenish color and i draw with that and so you see i really used my very personal color palette for these uh, symmetry color paintings here so you can if you want uh, really create very individual many colored things here um, so you may wonder how to get these kind of Escher-like drawings and what I very often do at that point is uh, well again this scribbling trick and just see what happens so let me let me take a different symmetry group now so let me take the uh, symmetry group with uh, just threefold repetition and let me just scribble around more or less arbitrarily so I'm not thinking about what I'm doing at that moment. And uh, so every now and then you come to a point where uh, what you are drawing here somehow may look like a kind of recognizable shape. So what I have here uh, may with a little bit of fantasy look like, uh, well, I have to play a little bit with it to see what I get here may look like, okay, it's kind of cloud reading. Ah, it doesn't matter what it looks like. So uh, just assume it is a ghost. So let's make it uh, some kind of ghosty figure. And uh, the m most important thing you need for a ghost, oh, it's a kind of angry ghost. So. I have a mouse and some teeth and here I have an angry eye. So I now think, you see what I saw in that beast here. And so you created actually a kind of angry animal uh, that really, okay, it has some kind of perhaps even a little bit like a, a dragonfish or something like that. And you see, with a little bit of fantasy, uh, you can create uh, really cool and funny patterns uh, from uh, symmetric colors. So I really encourage uh, play with your fantasy, play with eye ornament at that point and create these kind of crazy patterns. And I think that really was enough for today. So have fun doodling, keep on doodling, and we'll see each other at our next drawing tutorial.